Hi, this is Dave Klein at YellowRibbonJobs.com in Seattle, Washington. Today, I, I did a couple of interviews last week with people that had been fired from their job and they've been interviewing and they haven't been doing very well. Well, here is how you get fired. You generally get fired for a reason. And so that's what I really want you to deal with is the reason that you got fired. You cannot ever justify and have it work very well, getting fired from a position. Now, in these particular situations, they were professionals. They were both licensed personnel, and one had to do with addiction. That person's in recovery, and they're doing very, very well, documented over a long period of time, yet still being monitored. Very upfront, very honest regarding what had happened, and then the other person had had several warnings, and yet at the same time did not, number one, heed the warnings and eventually lost their position. And at the interviews that they've done beyond that, they tried to justify it. My advice to that person was, you need to kind of own up to it. Now, the rationale that they used for getting into this conflict to begin with was a touchy situation in terms of medical. He felt that he was looking out for, you know, patient needs, and the client was looking out for the fiduciary responsibility that they have to state, local, and federal government. And I'm sorry, but that has to trumpet. That's just the way the world is today. And so because of the warning, they had said, we will give you a letter, and then they let him go. But at his interviews, what he's doing is he's trying to justify. And he said, what's your advice? And I said, my advice to you is to, number one, look at your behavior and accept the fact that when your employer cuts you a check every week, that they have a major investment in what you do, both fiduciary, legally, and morally. And your moral obligation is to do what's required by law Regardless of how you think that that's interfering, we have quality assurance committees and we have all kinds of remedies for trying to figure out a better solution. And in the sense that most people, almost to 100%, operate, operate within the confines of what's expected, that should be accomplished by anybody else. So there's probably more of an attitudinal problem that you have that you were probably let go for. Now, there are other, other circumstances. You have to sort that out in terms of like, but whatever the real reason was, even if you were justified, you can never come across to a prospective employer as though you're the bad guy. If it didn't work out, you say it didn't work out. You never elaborate. And when you have to elaborate, for example, I was fired from my last position. You need to make that and preempt that conversation to no more than 30 or 45 seconds because what will ultimately happen when you have a weak case, you will always over talk. Now, that is a fact. You can believe it or you're not. Here's the thing about these films and, and about looking at jobs and interviews. If you believe you're justified in what you're doing, no matter what it is, I'm not going to change that. If you have the ability to change, then you need to write it down and review it. That's all I've got. Honesty is the best policy regardless of what has happened. This is Dave Klein in Seattle, Washington. Thank you for visiting yellowribbonjobs.com.